dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn C++. From Professor Saborno Isaac Barry. So today, we're going to be looking at some more um, while loops. Are you, are you guys seeing this right now? The name of my program is literally Freak Overdue Monads. I never even noticed that. What does Monad even mean? God. Everything is so weird. I just say that when I literally encounter only one odd thing. Wow. So, now, uh, today we're going to try to build a simple addition calculator using a while loop. And it's going to be pretty efficient. So first, let's make a number, let's make a variable x set it to 1. Because, you know, we want a limit to the loop. If you want it uh, last time, you'll see how I use x and manipulate variables in order to limit a while loop. And then, it didn't. So, I'm also going to make a num count, which means how many numbers they want to add. TNT, oh no. I don't want to blow this computer up. It's like thousand dollars or something so double num so you can actually put in some um decimals so now i'm going to put a wild thing see i'm weird so wild hmm. so first i think i should take some information from I uh, should take the information from the user how many numbers they uh, do they want to add. How many numbers do you want to add? Sin um oh I spelled it wrong. Okay. Sin Num count. No. Well, actually, less than or equal to. Oh, I should remind the user to uh, number. Oh, yeah, num count. I should also remind the user to not only input their numbers in the empty space uh, given below. But I should also inform them to subscribe to Barry Science Lab. Facebook and Patreon. God, that is a long CLC. So, okay. Uh, ignore that really absurd screen that just uh, half occurred outside. Um, at Barry Science Lab. So I, so I have not only reminded uh, the user to input uh, their numbers, but in the empty space given, but also to subscribe and follow to Barry Science Lab. Isn't that great? All right. So now let's get on with the programming. Um. Now, um, first we need the program, the loop to come to the end. And then count and though oh, I shouldn't be putting a count statement here. I'm so used to making a basic calculator. Okay. 
So while uh, x equal is, so I should make sin x. No, I should make sin num, and then total equal total. Oh yes, I should make a variable total. Total plus num. So total is just going to be the sum of all the numbers. Total. Total equal total plus one. And let's start out with zero. So each time um, I'm going to ask for the number, uh, they're going to enter the number, then it saves it in the computer, and then total starts from zero, and then plus the number it was given, and it all starts again. So now, if I put a C out statement, that says my answer, the the sum of the num okay the sum of the okay num count numbers I have got an int model is over. Um, total. All right. I'm so I'm pretty triggered because I didn't put this okay period oh whoa, whoa. the hello program okay let's see how this goes four see uh this is your reminder and then input all my numbers here 12 34 50 5.5 23 oh. ah Mm. It seems that total has become zero. Oh, maybe because I put double there. Okay then. So let's just see. Oh. Um, what is the title of the lecture today? Twelve twenty-three. what is the title of the lecture today? Oh, uh... No, sit down and... Okay. Uh, which one? Uh, C++. Oh, uh, uh, making a calculator using a oh, while. Oh, I see, I see. Mm. Oh. Apparently, something is wrong with the... It uh, always keep setting the total to zero. smart way to get this uh, out so it is your job today to figure out why that the variable total is uh, getting set to zero over and over and over and over again so that's your homework for today you can see there are no errors but remember that total is always being set to zero somehow so with that, uh, bye. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.